Hello. Hello. Welcome to Neville's <laughs> Corner. We have John, John Gillespie. That's me. Woohoo! <laughs> Awesome. That's well, thanks so much for coming to join us today. Thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. Um, we first met you hanging out with our friend John Van Art. Mm -hmm. right? Yep. Hi, John. If you're out there, I don't think he watches. If you're watching, force him to watch. If you're watching, John, comment and say something nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I definitely praise our relationship with, uh, or treasure this relationship because we met you in a non-musical situation. It's rare, you know, for us. Yeah. Our social life definitely circles around music all the time. Yeah. Cool. Well, we always like to hop right into music. So mm -hmm. um, Lex is going to do the coin flip and you'll uh -huh. call it in the air and then right. decide what to do. Mm -hmm. If Lex can catch it today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good try. I put the pressure on every time. Ooh. How's that? <laughs> 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. uh, heads. On 10. Okay. It's tails. Oh, all right. so we go first. All right. Okay. I told Lex earlier that if I won, I would still have you guys go first. Uh, yeah. so that was really. So this is like all for that was for show. It was. <laughs> but all, just now you guys know that it was a pointless joke. <laughs> we just yeah. wanted to show off Neville's quarter. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> what are we starting with, Lex? Searching for um, inspiration. So no, so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's sure. do searching for right. inspiration. Um, so. So I've been struggling with writing songs lately. Well, I haven't even been trying. Really. That's probably the problem. But <laughs> what a struggle! <laughs> um, but uh, looking at your catalog of music, it's inspiring. Thank you. So um, maybe that maybe it will inspire me to sit down and actually write something.
Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Um, that's cool that you're writing actually about the process of writing. <laughs> yeah, so I was, yeah. I was at one of those songwriter circles that I was telling you about. And this was like when I first started going, like not even like mm -hmm. even thinking about leaving that circle. But um, a bunch of people were like sitting around talking about the songwriting process and I was just like writing down what they were saying. <laughs> and then I went home and turned it into a song. You guys, are you familiar with David Wilcox? I've heard his name many times. He, he was I'm an Ash not familiar though. He was kind of like a, a really important Asheville uh, singer songwriter. He used to tour all over. I guess he still does. Um, but he used to play at Columbia Street Bakery um, every month or so. And um, I remember hearing a radio interview with him one time where he talked about using different capos and different tunings. He says like, because then it's just like you're you have to learn how to play a guitar all yeah. over again. Yeah, yeah. That. And I agree that that's that's something that, for at least for me, is really inspiring. Yeah. Just like, you, you know, learn put, something. Yeah. 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 Like and changing and instruments, almost. Yeah, yeah, like that trick too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like when right you on write the, something right on the, on the piano. piano. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some chords on the piano will yeah. sound very different yeah. from yeah. the guitar. Yeah, yeah. It's good stuff. It's true. <laughs> capos though, I, what do you have like the the capo uh, like, that like covers only partially of the yeah, yeah yeah the double capos Are there really yeah like, cutaway oh, capos they, 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 there's all kinds of yeah all kinds of oh, tricks yeah. <laughs> I tend to just like to use uh, dad gad tuning and this one is this is um, a fairly early song I wrote in yeah that's that. here's the thing. yeah yeah <laughs> so what's this one called this one's called I Died Too and it actually is based on a James Joyce story called The Dead okay um, but it's from the perspective of the the woman in the story, not the, not the her husband who's the protagonist. Oh, right. yeah. Okay. Anyway, ah. Uh.
the coolest kid ever in high school. Or <laughs> <laughs> That's a strange. Thing. I don't know. I don't know. I was. I was def- I mean, I, I, I got into music in junior high, and then I started playing guitar to kind of like mid high school. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I would have followed your band around. <laughs> <laughs> I played mostly instrumental music actually in, in oh, high yeah. school. Yeah, I didn't. Cool. I didn't uh, it was actually towards the end of my senior year that I started even trying to sing, oh, yeah. and it was really awkward. Very awkward. Well, I, I love your singing. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. So like, um, I mean, that like da 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 da. It's, thank you. It's rocking. We don't normally have. Guests that play that kind of style of music—it's nice to have a change. That I think that I think that I oftentimes like—I mean, I didn't really grow up listening to uh, listening to a lot of folk music, and I find myself in a lot of kind of folk style bands being the yeah. only person who's like, "Well, yeah, I know who John Prine is, but I don't know any of his music or something like that." But like, I grew up listening to REM, and I think I've always, I'm always trying to sort of equate that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, speaking of bands, mm-hmm. gigs coming up. Do you have any gigs coming up? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in a band called Nikki Meets the Hibachi, and right. that's uh, I'm in several other bands too. But that's the one that people probably know me best for. I, I yeah. knew about Nick meets the Nikki Meets the Hibachi before I knew even your name. Wow, yeah, that's I had cool. it on my phone for a long time. I did yeah. listen. Probably, probably to John. It. John probably told you. Right? It's. Yeah, I'm pretty Probably. sure he did. Yeah, yeah. might be, but I think yeah, John didn't mention your name. Yeah, <laughs> and he said yeah. it's his favorite band. I'm like, oh, interesting. Wow, <laughs> that's cool. He was, yeah. he was sincere. Yeah, yeah. Thank he's you. not just saying that because you're a friend. Oh, that's yeah. that's really sweet. But we that that group is the I, I met we met in college. So that ah. that was like 30 years ago that we oh. we started playing together. Yeah, that was a long time. So, so you have a show Sunday, right? We have a show Sunday, and it's actually a benefit for uh, suicide prevention and awareness. Mm. Um, it's in honor of uh, a drummer who was in a band called Paul, though, mm. in town from the early 90s, around the mm-hmm. same time that Nicky Meets Bachi was formed. His name was Eddie Watkins, and he passed away from suicide maybe three or four years ago. Mm-hmm. But his, his widow is was a high school friend of mine, mm-hmm. and um, she's been doing wow. these shows every every year. For the past three years, I think this is the third or fourth one I think they've done, and a lot of great bands playing. Um, mm-hmm. Elvis Division, uh, Secret Monkey Weekend, John Howie, oh, yeah. um, just lots of really awesome, awesome people. Fun. And that Sunday, and from the, Sunday from two to midnight. To midnight. We're, we're and you're playing. on at six forty-five, right? Yep. Cool. A lot of music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Was good. Uh, we got another song for us. Sure. Sure. I think. Um, <clears throat> This is one that I played at that Imbibe show. Oh, okay. uh, guys Thanks for doing that. Oh, thank you. I, I, I love doing it. That's the first time I've played solo in performance. Like, gosh, it's been many years. So, oh, wow. Cool. 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 Right. Thanks, thanks yeah. for doing it. Yeah, yeah. No, it really, it's, it's been, it was a joy. Um, and it was, and so this was yeah. actually the first song I played uh, because that was right, right before Halloween, wasn't oh, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so this was based off of a classic horror movie called Night of the Hunter. Oh, good. Oh. Yeah, cool. Uh, so it just seems pretty close. Preacher Powell came along singing a sinister song brought a faith in an even more sinister God the women giggled and cooed he is a man you could use your widow harbor your chances for future are few down on the river John and his baby sister float away Still hunger, but every night the hunter follows everywhere if we have flown. As 
sad time for anything young So much can fall to a son A guilty secret you can never tell anyone Some people can't get enough Some people barter for love Some people pray for the day when the journey is done down on the river, John and his baby sister float away to find a brand new home. They can stand the hunger, but every night the hunter follows everywhere. Still hunger, but every night the hunter follows everywhere their feet have flown. Guy. <laughs> so what? So what movie is it? That, what movie? It's called Night of the Hunter. Night of the Hunter. Night of the Hunter. Yeah, it's a beautiful. Movie. So what's this movie about? Uh, a preacher who marries women and kills them for their money. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yep. What did that have to do with the kids on that were exploding or something? Because on they the escape rapture. him. They had, escaped yeah, he, the preacher. Yeah, they escaped, they escaped okay. the evil preacher guy. Well, the preacher wasn't going to try to marry one of the kids, was he? <laughs> no, no, their mother. <laughs> oh, he their mother. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I want to I wanna tell you anything. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, well, so, I guess it, so we have, what's it called again? Night of the Hunter. Night of the Hunter. Night right. of the Hunter. We'll have to put um, that on your movie list. Yes. Right. It's, a, it's a fabulous <laughs> movie. Um, so I, we, we searched for you today on the internet, mm -hmm. yeah. and we found like multiple albums. How many albums do you have? So you probably found the three that are distributed through CD Baby, okay. which which I highly recommend. They're really great. They get things in all the different streaming sites yeah. and things like that. Yeah, that's really and those good. are the three that I've recorded once um, I, once I started working with uh, Mike Garrigan um, right. in Greensboro. He has a studio there, and he and I have been in bands together uh, before that point. And he was he's very economical. You guys were looking for a studio, I highly recommend it. <laughs> right. He's a great person to work with. And um, I think his studio now is called Two Egrets. Two right. Egrets, okay. Two Egrets yeah. Studio. Great. But um, so those three albums are the ones that are out there. And everything I did before that was like, I mean, I actually, my first self released material was on cassette. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> nice. and, yeah, so that, that's <laughs> definitely not what? easy to come by. What, what is a cassette? <laughs> you're 30, uh, you said you're 37, yeah. right? You know what that said is. My first step was on Oh, you caught, you yes. caught me. Hopefully yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so so those three, um, uh, those, those are the things my brother took apart. And yeah, it was, left, it was worse. You could fix one when it broke. Yeah, yeah, you can't do that anymore. You can do that surgery, you can't do that with a CD. Yeah, yeah so I know, those are they become kind of uh, obsolete now. Sorry, too. I interrupted you. Yeah, I know, but uh, so uh, Eternal Summer was the first of those. Uh, False Idols was next, and Always Falling. Oh, yeah. and I, I recorded all of those kind of within a span of about five years. Um, Busy. Yeah, that was a that was a really fertile time. Songwriting machine, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I talked to you earlier. <laughs> yeah. So where where can people go specifically to find your music? Is there a website? I mean, if you're just if you're just curious, just go on YouTube um, because all those those albums or, will will show up. Or, um, and they YouTube. search John Gillespie, or what do they mm -hmm. search? Yeah, yeah, they search John Gillespie. I mean, I think there's a guy who does like a cable access 
a fishing show named John Gillespie too. So, yeah, so you there. might get some fish. If you I see a guy see in a boat, guy. it's not me. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I think so. I might be wrong about that, but I feel like I, I wouldn't have just made that up in my mind. Yeah. Awesome. So you have, yeah. you have another song? Yeah. So this one, okay. um, like the hunter, this was also on uh, False Idols, um, and I feel like it's I, I don't know. I don't know if this is true about either of you, but uh, um, a couple of years ago I read that book by Susan Cain called Quiet, which was about sort of an exploration of introversion, being an introvert, and uh, a lot of creative types are introverts, and this was sort of like a song that I, I wrote it before I read that book, but I feel like ever since I read that book I'm like, yeah, introverts rule, and, uh, and this, this song is kind of about that. I mean, we've played concerts in our house because... <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's the that's thing about being an introvert is that, like, performing is great. It's like small talk in a... In a Pre-planned talk. At, a, like, a cocktail party and all that. That's misery, but... Uh, Pre Pre-planned talking is yeah. great. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Music is kind of like pre-planned. It's like, I have a script. <laughs> this is called Inner Outside Me. It's about, yeah, it's about that inner spirit. After all of the hours spent, so little left to show for them. When children whisper soft and low,
Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had to drag her out the other night to go to Sonic Pickle. She's like, I don't want to stay here. <laughs> There's something I great about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Well, um, anything else you want to tell the world of Facebook about yeah. John Gillespie? Um, I don't know. I didn't prepare anything. No. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. Oh, so you are in Nikki Meets Bachi, but you're in like five other bands. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, I also had this life as a bass player, um, <clears throat> and that gets me more work than anything else, actually. Yeah. Um, I played bass in a, grand, in a band called Nantahala, uh, which used to be formerly called Mary Johnson Rockers, although there's a woman named Mary Johnson Rockers who's in that band. Um, I also play in Dogwood Blossom band. Yeah, with um, our friend Michael Paris. With Michael Paris. Yeah, and also check them out. I, I probably, I think I have about two or three songs of mine in that repertoire, but most of, most of mostly that group focuses on Americana yeah. covers. Mm-hmm. So it's not as much an original music band, uh, which is completely new for me. I've never been in a band that right. didn't <laughs> like focus that. on on original music, but yeah. it's been a lot of fun. Cool. Right. Um, and I also play in a band called The Drowning Lovers. Uh, I think we, I know about that one. Yeah. And that is, uh, we like to call ourselves Lounge Noir, which is... I love a, that. It's, it's, a, um, it's, it's a little bit jazzy, um, okay. but uh, and maybe a little bit Latin-y, because uh, we have a percussionist who really loves that style. Okay. Um, but also, we tend to have a lot of songs in which people get killed. <laughs> yeah. Murder, murder, murder balance. Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> so, so that is probably the darkest of the groups that I'm in. So, how do you juggle being in four bands? Um, I mean, Nikki meets the Ibachi is easy to to juggle because my partner in that lives in Virginia. Right. So, we practice like right before a show yeah, right. these days. Um, and what do you do, like a show? Yeah. How often? We we've been like we have two shows this month, and yeah. that's kind of that that's about as busy as we get. We actually we play. We started. We sort of resumed playing together after about a six year hiatus. Oh, okay. Two years ago. Okay. Um, oh. Thanks to Curtis Eller at, at Mystery Brewing, he had this residency there. Oh. And uh, so we were like we could play a forty five minute set. We can do that. <laughs> and nice. uh, and we, and then that that got us playing. Uh, more shows because we enjoyed right. it so much. Yeah. The others, you know, it's, it's just a matter of making sure that the, everybody knows what's going on. Google yeah. Calendar is great. Yeah, I love yeah, Google good Calendar. for bands. Yes, if yes. If you're syncing properly, <laughs> yeah. I wish I've had an issue with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. You guys are, are, are all over the place too. Yeah, but I don't even have to know where she is. That's true, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> have, to... have you guys ever thought about expanding, like getting a rhythm section? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've thought about it, but. Mm. We we can't even afford to pay ourselves. To That's true. But some, sometimes sometimes <laughs> bands can can take gigs that pay better. Yeah. Sometimes. But not yeah. sometimes. But, but not always. <laughs> not always. Isn't a rhythm section worth playing gigs that don't pay? Also. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Well, yeah. let's let's yeah. let us, let us finish off with one song. Mm-hmm. Um, this is, uh, it's a new day. I, I worked during the day as a teacher assistant mm-hmm. in the elementary school. And this song was inspired by like the giant pep rally at the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. And this is my first year as a teacher assistant. So uh, I was like, I really. The district pep rally? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So. Ah, both of your songs today have been songs about your first, like, just starting a new activity. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe I need to go start something. New organizations. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get
Uh, Cat's Cradle. Cat's Cradle. Be there right. or be square. See y'all later.